12 of the most haunted places in America, according to paranormal experts. Number 1. Gettysburg, Pennsylvania, a haunting history lesson. The three-day Battle of Gettysburg claimed the lives of more than 50,000 men from both the Confederate and Union armies, making it the deadliest battle of civil war. It's only natural there is some residual energy here, says Joe Svela, manager of Ghostly Images of Gettysburg Ghost Tours. He would say it's the most haunted small town in America. A few years back, Svela was leading a group of school children on a history tour of the Jenny Wade house, the site where Jenny Wade, the only civilian remembered to have died in the Civil War, was killed by a stray bullet. The group walking down the stairs from the second floor, Svela and the children noticed a young boy in Civil War era, tired, standing on the landing. A moment later, the boy vanished, so did the students, who dashed back up the stairs in fear. After the sightening, the group didn't stick around to finish their tour. They went straight back to their bus and left, he says. Number 2. Boston – Revolutionary Ghosts Founded in 1630, Boston was one of the first American colonies and later one of the first great American cities. Because it is so old and has such a history, there are haunted places to be found pretty much everywhere, in fact. But the Boston Common is like the Central Park of Boston. It is located directly in front of Emerson College and is only a few paces away from other haunted Boston locations, including the Omni Parker Hotel and Cops Hill Bearing Ground. The Boston Globe reports that approximately 175 years, the common was the place for public executions. It would surprise no one to come across a ghost or two when strolling the park at night. Well, it probably would. Number 3. Los Angeles Celebrity Spokes One of the biggest and most famous cities in the United States, Los Angeles, has been the setting for many films and the scenes of many tragedies and hauntings. One of the most infamous unsolved crimes in America's history, the Black Dahlia murder, took place here. But the really spooky thing about Los Angeles is its many haunted hotels, like the Chateau Marmont. Sometimes, laughter isn't so fun, at least, not when it involves someone who is already dead. Chateau Marmont, one of the luxury hotels which has been a temporary home to many Hollywood celebrities, was the place where comedian and actor John Belushi overdosed in 1982. After his death, there was a family that temporarily moved into his same bungalow. While there, their toddler will always be laughing by himself. When his parents asked why, he said, it was because of the funny man, Akka, the deceased Belushi. Number 4. Austin, Texas, Hotel for Ghosts There is something about hotels that make them some of the most haunted places in the country. Perhaps it is because so many people come and go. Perhaps it is the amount of stories each person in transit can tell. When it comes to Austin, Texas, the Driscoll Hotel might be the creepiest. The Driscoll has made many lists of top haunted hotels on websites like Mashable and Conday Nest Traveler. The huge, stately and very old hotel was named after the man who built it, Jesse Lincoln Driscoll, who ultimately lost the family fortune shortly after its opening. It is said that his miserable spirit still haunts the hotel grounds. He's not the only spirit there, he's joined by a woman who allegedly committed suicide and the young daughter of a Texas senator. 